Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today I've got a brand new edition of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM, 33 songs that I wanted to highlight and talk about this week. As always, there's a Spotify link down below for any and all of these songs uh, that you want to listen to right there for easy access. Um, so let's hop into it. 33 songs, we're starting off in the bad category. Songs I thought were uh, pretty bad. Um, as a reminder, uh, these are just my opinion, so don't take them as gospel truth. Uh, we're starting off with Murata from uh, Primal Phantom EP, the track of the same name, Primal Phantom. Uh, yeah, considering this is the best of the three tracks in this EP, uh, it's still really not good. Uh, we're getting the same generic abrasive rhythm that we've been getting for years now from Murata. Something needs to change. Something needs to change. Please. We've got Oliver Heldens with Physical. Uh, damn, we're already redoing pop songs from this decade uh, as we've got a, a slap house cover of Dua Lipa's Physical and it is a completely unnecessary release. Um, often remixes are meant to bring more energy and power to pop songs that often lack it, um, but this actually removed a lot of that energy. So I think it's here in the bad category. We've got David Guetta and Cedric Gervais with Switch. Uh, the song really feels like an empty shell of an actually good track. Um, the lead line is goofy as heck. The synth, it like, only... It, it, it's like... I don't even know how to describe it. Like, a synth-only bridge. It's like there's nothing else but just the synth line, and it just sounds dumb. It, it just feels super weird. The whole track just kind of reeks. Um, yeah, it's like someone heard Big Room for the first time and then tried to replicate it themselves. It just it doesn't sound great. They got Elefante and Huang featuring Haluna with Know Your Name. Uh, the track had this beautiful kind of build and chords that kind of just were ruined on the both of the drop sections here. Um, the first is kind of this fast-paced house, while the second is kind of more generic mellow dub and with these kind of off-kiltered kicks here and there. But um, yeah, everything about this track was fine until the drop sections, which I thought were just pretty lame. So... We've got Cheat Codes, Punctual, and Raffaella with Find Love Now. Super generic and, der and derivative commercial house that sounds like it's stuck in 2014. If you want to listen to this kind of style of music and sound, go listen to Galantis' Galantis debut album, Pharmacy. Um, if that's what you want to hear, that, that is 10 times better than this track. Then we're moving into the meh category, songs I thought were pretty meh. We've got Martin Garrix featuring Carolina Liar with Smile, a commercial house that is trying a bit too hard to be radio friendly. The melody is boring, the vocals are all right, and I think the song just suffers from, yeah, just being too boring. Kind of a weird one for Martin Garrix, not gonna lie. Then we got Boombox Cartel featuring Nev with Low Life uh, from the new Proof of Life album, debut album from Boombox Cartel. And it's, uh, I will say, very diverse. It's got some hip hop, it's got some pop, it's got some EDM. Not what I expected from a debut album from Boombox Cartel for sure. Um, but yeah, this track in particular uh, has a kind of light hybrid trap first drop and then a random like hard style back end. It's a bit messy stylistically. Um, and I think it's kind of uh, a greater, <laughs> greater, it's a, it's a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, this song kind of represents the album as a whole. I think it's a little bit messy and a little weird, uh, I would say. We got Arm and Hammer and Passport featuring Kaliza with Gone uh, Festival Progressive House with a jittery synth melody. I don't think it's particularly bad, just kind of boring in the grand scheme of things with this new Arm and Hammer release. Then we've got Nurko and Halion with B uh, with Retraced. Um, yeah, it's generic mellow dub just with kind of these trap hi hat triplets uh, on the closeout of each of these drop sections. Um, yeah, Halion's vocals are great, but it's kind of just more generic mellow dub narratives as well um, from her vocals. And Nurko just kind of doing the same old stuff, but doing for a little bit here too. So. Then we got Company with Tax Evasion, heavy hitting metallic dubstep track that plays off a constant kind of one, two kick snare dubstep beat um, that kind of, yeah, just not really my style of dubstep. I would say the melody doesn't really change much all throughout and there really isn't anything to differentiate this track from the sea of other metallic dubstep songs. So uh, for me, it was kind of just meh. They've got Cloud Cage and Mango with Much Is Taken, Much Abides from the new two-track EP from Cloud Cage uh, of the same title. But yeah, this is just a nice organic house tune from Monster Cat Silk Legends here in Mango and Cloud Cage. Um, yeah, it's got a beautiful soundscape and peaceful piano for a relaxing tune. I just don't think um, the melody kind of, it just sounds a little same-samey for me as the song progresses throughout and uh, organic house isn't so much my style. So I think it's just here in meh. 
Then we got Ira featuring Chase and Status with Gunfinger Salute. Uh, Ira really trying to, uh, yeah, own the kind of gun finger hands in the UK on this track. Um, Production-wise, from Chasing Status, it's nothing too special. Kind of feels like the cut, um, or like was a cut song off of the Too Rough mixtape. Uh, feels like a beat that, uh, yeah, just didn't make it to the final mixtape. And so I don't think kind of Ira got the scraps, I guess, of it. So I don't know. Thought the track was okay. Then we got Camarion out alive. Dance floor drum and bass with an intensely distorted melody run here. Um, it's got energy and drive. I just wish it kind of had another tonal element to the drops that kept it creative and uh, kind of enhanced it up another level. So then we got Infect with Goop from the new Veggie Games EP. Uh, this song is a real test of how much you care about mix quality. Uh, Goop in, in particular here, because um, the mix master of this track is quite stylistically raw and distant, I would say. Like, it feels like you're in a big room. Um, I do think it works uh, with the kind of intentional emptiness of the off-drop sections, but in the end, I actually kind of liked this tone of rhythm that Infect had here, but the drops kind of just were not the kind of usual creative stuff that we get from Infect. It kind of just was a little blander on the drop, so I think it's here in May. Then we're moving to the good category songs I thought were pretty good. Uh, we've got Excision and Jewels with Jump Out, a whole kind of um, pretty like nasty festival trap collaboration where Jewels kind of seemingly takes the lead on a lot of the style and tones here, where Excision kind of brings a lot more of the uh, certain level of distortion to his tracks that he normally does. So yeah, it's a short track that uh, it's kind of made for purely festivals, and I think it's uh, it's it, it's solid in the end, so I enjoyed it. They went Hello World with Flowers from the kind of Quest Begins EP. I say kind of because this is like, I think this is part one of like the album that's coming out. So it's not, it is like a part one, part two of EPs that will be an album holistically. So I don't really like when EPs do this, but that's a whole other thing. Um, but yeah, again, this is more kind of chilled out track from Hello World that we've been getting from this new album cycle where um, it's this track is pretty much cemented its tone. Uh, and that is this kind of um, very pretty poppy with kind of constant hi-hat triplets and these bright falsetto vocals from Hello World uh, making for a pretty ethereal electro pop style track. So I enjoyed it. Then we got Snake Gang with Glimmer Snaking being the collaboration of Snake Hips and Earth Gang into one new alias here from the uh, new Snake Gang EP Volume 1. Uh, this is also a hip house track with a real glassy synth lead that's very kind of reminiscent of Snake Hips from their other stuff. But yeah, it's a vibe of a track with tons of commercial appeal and I think this will do well uh, numbers wise. We've got Teddy Killers and MC Spida with Hardcore Rhythm, uh, which is, in fact, actually a jumpy drum and bass tune uh, with a kind of Rastafarian-type vocals from MC Spida here. Uh, there are these light kind of synth pads on these off-drop sections that really complement the whole track and kind of gives it that bit of it, um, I would say, a bit of a Jamaican vibe, I would say, on this track, so especially with the vocals, so... They've got Elderbrook and Shimza with Places, a progressive house tune with a like kind of beautiful harmony um, off these vocals, like just one voice, but just kind of layered harmonies. It, it's, it's quite actually magical. But um, yeah, it's a simple track, but one that is quite beautiful. It kind of sounds like a uh, soundtrack to like a paradise safari scene in a movie of sorts, if that makes any sense. So. Then we got Ovi Sky with What If I Stay, a short and simple house beat that's meant for that summer vibin'. I uh, really enjoyed the kind of, yeah, like I said, vibe of this one, melody, the vocals. I just wished it was a little bit longer and had an additional movement or just at least extended movements on the first and second drop. So, um, yeah, I liked it. Just kind of want a little bit more for it to be something better. Then we got Sophie Tucker with Hey Homie, a surprisingly uh, intimate and personal refrain of a track from Sophie Tucker here, and also surprisingly liquid drum and bass production as well, which is something I don't think we've heard from Sophie Tucker up to this point. I'm really curious to see how this fits into the album track list, but for now, this is probably my favorite single of all of them that have been released. It sounds very out, uh, like counter to what Sophie Tucker actually is in their style and production, but um, I think it actually works really well. And we've got Porter Robinson with Katsune Mason Freestyle from the uh, upcoming Smile XD record for Porter Robinson. This is the fourth single with the album coming next week, which I'm super excited about. And uh, this is definitely the most unique track of the singles up to this point. It's much more of a kind of uh, indie pop, kind of bit pop than more so than anything he's kind of done in the past. Um, not even on this album cycle, but also in the past past, which is... Uh, Time and time again, Porter's done that. But um, yeah, there uh, there really is no real build or climactic moment or bridge section here. And so it's a pretty slow, steady, and nice tune. And uh, I would say it's my least favorite of the four singles up to this point, but uh, still solid. 
They got What's or Not Any Mano featuring MNDR with Slow Motion. Uh, with this and the last What's or Not collaboration track that we got recently, uh, I'm assuming this is the start of some larger project, this now being the second single of some other EP or LP coming out, um, with a lot more chilled out uh, style of production from What's or Not for sure, comparatively to the past. Um, especially for a What's or Not and Imano collaboration, like it's relatively simple by design. Um, the mixing is great, and you've got Imano's kind of classic snare kick sustains all throughout. I'm just trying to think worked really, really well, and it's a very different uh, tone than what we normally get from these two. Then we've got Cloud Nun and Linny with Quiet of My Mind. Um, yeah, a more house style of track with still kind of garage roots uh, to Cloud Nun here. This does feel like a natural progression of Cloud Nun's style with a kind of more floor, four on the floor type beat with his kind of classic garage instrumentation. I also think uh, Liney's vocals or Linny's vocals are fantastic. And I think the song was pretty solid. And we got Starseed, Catlia, and Suave with Angel. Uh, Starseed mellow dub just kind of hits differently. The extended drop sections work great, albeit a little same samey when you get to the end of each of those sections. But um, the double vocals, having two different vocal features, I think is great as well. Uh, and O is a plus in my book. So way to go, Starseed. I think this track is great. Then we got Berkham with Memory Trail. Uh, former Hero is back and with a brand new alias here in Berkham. And uh, yeah, honestly, it doesn't really sound a whole ton different from like the Former Hero sound to warrant a whole new different alias here. But I know the change of alias is for more reasons than just the core sound. But um, yeah, it's got Mike's kind of uh, now iconic vocal inflection with a driving Indietronica beat that kind of hits that really nice niche EDM indie fusion vibe that I know a lot of us really enjoy. So. It's great. Then we've got Scro with Heart uh, from the new Heart mixtape of the same name, obviously, there. And it is uh, beautifully chaotic, both this track and the mixtape as a whole. Uh, this track in particular is kind of part drum and bass, part pop punk, and backed by some wicked electric guitar soloing that acts as the kind of primary drop sections here. Uh, it is a bit of a crazy song, and I was loving it. Then we've got San Holo and Bipolar Sunshine with What Is Life. Uh, Liquid DNB from San Holo with a very def uh, reflective vocal narration uh, from uh, Bipolar Sunshine here. Uh, well, the two of them kind of have this uh, typical, they like, kind of talk about the best parts of life in their music, both Bipolar Sunshine and San Holo. Uh, this one's actually quite introspective, uh, really asking what is life all throughout the song. Uh, the synth melody is bright and cheerful and really helps that listener kind of hone in on that key question and really think about what is life. So I liked it. Then we got Arya featuring Artemis Orion with Haunt Me. Really unique sounding track that's kind of part future bass, part trap, and all around really enjoyable. It's from this kind of, I think, a new double sided single EP type thing. I don't really know how we're. The release of it was a little weird, but I think the track is great. I think Haunt Me is really good. Um, the vocals are great, the drops are creative, and I adore the dense bass line sustains all throughout here. Then we got Mersive and Effin with Belong to Me. Uh, Mersive's trippy sound design and Effin's destructive dubstep makes this for a uh, brilliant collaboration style track or collaboration track. Um, it's got a swing type beat here and there that kind of breaks up the more standard kick snare that you get from Effin and Mersive. And I think it's um, yeah a quite simple switch up that really turns this track from good to great. And then we've got Dead Mouse with Sever from the new Sum EP, which is a collaboration of Dead Mouse and Test Pilot, both Joel Zimmerman aliases. And um, yeah, with the popularity of Tech House, it only makes sense to hear this kind of more classic progressive electro house style from Dead Mouse with a bit of a techno twinge to it. So um, yeah, it's a long seven minute track that just kind of feels justified in its length with it with its constant structural and tonal movements. I think this is a great track from Dead Mouse. I think this is a great EP from Joel in, in general, and there'll be review coming out on that soon, hopefully. And then we move into the standout category. There are two songs in standout this week that I wanted to talk about a cut above the rest. We're starting with Glacier's Totem Dance. Uh, first things first, I'm calling it now. This is the second single for an upcoming album. Uh, Glacier talked about being some album in the works years and years ago, and I think this is the start of it, honestly. I think with this and not really the last track being released um, a couple weeks ago. I think this is an album coming out soon, but uh, yeah, that's to say that I, I think this song is actually really just a, like a fleshed out version of Not Really, the first kind of single that was released. Um, the vocals sound like it's kind of chanting of young spirits, like it's kind of a straight out of a like Nintendo style game. Uh, in fact, a lot of this track actually sounds like it could be from a Nintendo soundtrack. It feels like you're kind of picking up um, Korok seeds as you're kind of going through Hyrule uh, is kind of what this <laughs> track kind of sounds like. Um, the sound design is impeccable. The mixing is marvelous, and it's not your kind of energetic, very um, free 
free f- it's more free flowing than it is you're more like synth run solo crazy like just going off riff and just like going nuts glacier track it's more yeah more free flowing i would say in that sense so uh but damn it's pretty great really enjoyed it and my number one pick of this week is tesseract with heat punk absolutely destructive breakbeat track with some intense metal instrumentation uh, this track is very much inspired by night punk and i'm all here for it the melody is ever changing the vocal chants have been in my head all weekend um seriously do yourself a favor go listen to tesseract an artist that's not um super well known in the scene and so give this track a listen at least at least i think it's fantastic i think it's great but uh, let me know what you guys think of any and all songs in the comment section below but other than that i'm dakota from Botan media and i'll see you guys in another video